the reason why I do it for everything is because I always find winning ad sets within three seconds, 10 seconds. So even the lower tier look like audiences. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back in the daily grind. And the first video that I'm gonna start is how to make a look like audience. So this is pretty basic. So this is for the people who want a step-by-step -step detailed guide on how to create a look-alike audience from scratch. I provide screenshots, I provided basically everything. This is like an in-depth guide. This is the sort of video you see in a thousand dollar course when it walks you through holding your hand, showing you how to make the look like audience. I'm gonna do that for you today for free. This video is thanks to Rob Moss. Very well explained as usual. Thank you for your effort. Thanks, Rob. Can you show when and how to set up for look like audience for percent views? Thanks, man. So I usually set up look like audiences when I'm getting profitable sales. So when I know the product is sort of like a winner, that's when I start doing look like audiences for, you know, three second views, 10 second views, 25% views, 50% views, 75% and 95% views. View content, add to cart, initiate checkout and purchase. So I do it for everything, all seven. The reason why I do it for everything is because I always find winning ad sets within three seconds, 10 seconds. So even the lower tier look like audiences. So I'm gonna walk you through how to make a look like audience, part one. You want to create the custom percent view audience. So you want to go to your business manager, click the drop down, click audiences. After you go into the audience panel, click on create custom audience, a drop down will come down and click custom audience. Click on engagement. This is for creating audiences of people who viewed your video, who engaged with the video. That is this section. If you want to find the audience of people who viewed your product, then you would go to website traffic. Now, step four, after clicking engagement, then you wanna then click video. After clicking video, you'll be shown what you're seeing on step five. You wanna select people who have watched at 95% of your video. I would do from three seconds all the way up to 95, but 95% views would be the best because these are people who watch through your whole video. So if you're creating an audience based off people who have viewed most of your videos compared to people who only watch three seconds of videos, it's pretty obvious which audience group is much better. After you clicked people who watched at 95% of your video, click choose video, then you wanna pick your video, so you, you'll be sent to this list of all your videos. You can click next, 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 find your video and click it. After that, click create audience, and then you'll be done. Now, how to make the look like audience. So this is step two. What you wanna do is after doing the previous step on creating the custom audience, you want to then select it and then click the actions drop down and click create look alike this thing will pop up you want to put in united states you can repeat this with other countries so this is like the top one percent of people who are most similar to your selected custom audience if you put on two percent this is the top two percent of audience most similar to your custom audience and that goes all the way up to 10 percent hence 1% would be strongest. But then again, I found many, many winning ad sets in four, five, seven, eight percent. So test them all. Now, as I promised, this is gonna be like a high quality course tutorial style video. So I'm not gonna finish here, but I'm actually gonna show you how to implement it in your ad set. I want everyone watching this video to understand and be able to implement this themselves. So how to advertise. In your ads, you would scroll down to audience and in the custom audience, that is where you'll choose your lookalike audiences. That's where you'll be able to see it. As you can see, I have a bunch of 1%, uh, 1 to 3%, 3 to 5%, 5 to 10%, 1%. There's a lot for Mexico, US, Brazil, everywhere. Now, some things you need to know. You want to leave age, gender, country blank because the lookalike audience would have people who are similar to your custom audience. So you don't want to mess around with the age or gender because if you say this product should only be advertised to girls who are 50 plus, what if data from your custom audience shows that there's actually a bunch of purchasers from the age of 30 who are male buying it for their girlfriends? Hence the lookalike audience has also generated those style of people. 
So if you edit the age, gender, country, you'll be messing with the lookalike audiences that you just created. You want to edit to newsfeed, you want to advertise your newsfeed, also test other placements. Instagram does pretty well, Messenger does pretty well. You want to test everything. And then you also want to do one day click. A lot of people recommend this. Um, also test seven day click on higher ticket items. But yeah, that's about it. This is how you create a lookalike audience from beginning to end. I basically went through everything. I hope you guys like this video. I went in depth, I got all these screenshots, I put this whole template together just to help you guys out. I really do wanna make sure that you guys can succeed through just watching my free content. That is truly my goal. If you like this video, drop a like below. If you have any other questions, drop a comment below. If you wanna get more in depth and you wanna get more one-on-one -on -one attention from me, join my Facebook group, e-commerce legacy the group is getting really active and everyone's just helping each other out so it's getting really helpful last but not least don't forget to subscribe because i'll be seeing you guys tomorrow peace